Hey there, friends and fellow collectors. Today we are taking a look at Scuba Jonesy from Jazzwares Fortnite Legendary Series action figure line. Yes, I am a little bit late on this, but I wanted to get to it because I want to get to all the Legendary Series figures. Anyway, on the back here it says Scuba Jonesy. It's Jonesy of the Deep. We have a cross sale down here and everybody has got these except the US has not gotten Cyclo yet. All right, so let's get this package open and take a look at him. Here's your boy, Scuba Jonesy, surrounded by all of his gear. And we're gonna take a look at this gear first and then we're gonna jump in and take a more closer detailed look at this action figure. He comes with the dive knives, harvesting tools. These look pretty nice. I like the colorization and the little places that he can hook his hands around. These are pretty nice. Then he comes with the deep dive back bling. There's the peg. I like also the colorization. It's like a metallic purple. A little couple yellow spots, and this actually looks a little bit silver to me. Very cool. He comes with a secondary head, so you can change his style from unhelmeted or unmasked to mask. I like these. I like when they come with secondary heads. Then we get, I believe this is a suppressed submachine gun. We've seen this before. Very nice. A light machine gun is right here for your enjoyment kind of gotten used to these i didn't like these at first but now i'm liking these more and finally we have an oversized harpoon gun at least it looks oversized to me if you compare it with this submachine uh, gun but anyway at least we're getting a a harpoon gun right all right figure time I have to say that I actually like this skin in game. I've used the scuba masked version quite a bit. Look at that yellow beard, his long, yong, <laughs> long yellow beard there. It does prevent any real motion from up and down. It hits there on his chest, and because of the collar and the hair, his head doesn't go back very far. He's got the standard points of articulation, all 40 of them. Well, I guess Legendary Series doesn't really have standard there's like between 36 and 40 anyway these uh I, I find the butterfly joints funny they don't go a lot and i'm not sure what the point is when they don't really move a whole lot i kind of like this right here this is funny it makes me think that there's a button on his chest that we have to push doink 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 right it looks like a button to me it's got a little uh, triangle on his right shoulder there he's got mostly a purple dive suit over here on his right ankle he's got a i'm guessing as a dive knife and too bad that is not removable it's just stuck in there and going to be a little bit kind of floppy around there so everything generally works the way it's supposed to i'm not going to get it deep into articulation i did notice on my figures that this calf or the boot rotation here just doesn't want to go so i'm going to have to heat that one up i finally got this right one to move but because of the knife yeah, uh, the knife hits the knee and the calf a little bit and so has some hindrance there but generally speaking this figure has full range of motion there's no real hindrance beyond this uh calf boot area and the chin let's take a peek at the masked version oh yeah i like that that's cool i like that one a lot you know actually i'd have to look in the game again but I don't think so much skin is showing when he's got the mask on, but I like this mask. It's all hooked together. Oh, it's actually not hooked. Did I break that? No, it's just the molded there. So the head swaps out actually really pretty easy. Let's get that back in focus for you. The head swaps pretty easy. I've noticed something with the Jazzwares figures, and that is when there is a swappable head, the head seems to come off pretty easy. If the figure doesn't come with a, a swappable head, they're a little bit more difficult to uh, take off. And I don't know if that's meant to be that way or what. We can uh, start gearing him up, put his back bling on. Let's see, we'll focus this in. Maybe. Somewhere in there. So we got his back bling on. Let's give him a, a dive knife. And yes, these still have the the hinged fingers so actually that makes that a little bit difficult to put in there because of that trigger finger getting those fingers around that is a little difficult so one way or the other it's not going to work out very well so you're either going to have to shove that yeah there's already a stress mark showing up right there and that's from either squeezing it or or something so having these Again, having these hinged trigger fingers and then something like this, they should have really 
molded it and created it. You can't see it. Molded it and created it in such a way that you could actually tuck this kind of hand in there. It, it's unfortunate, but uh, yeah, something like that. You're, if, you, if you do that very many times, you're going to bust this finger. So that's that's disappointing. Uh, we'll give him the light machine gun. How does he hold it? Hey, he holds it okay. He holds it as good as a legendary series is going to hold it at this point. And then we got this submachine gun. I'm doing it the wrong way. Give me a second here as I tuck it in. There we go. We got his other gun. Now light machine finally went. That's okay. We're going to switch over here to the harpoon gun and see. Yeah, that fits, I think, a lot better. Sometimes it comes down to how how much can you crank down this 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 finger grip. Uh, sometimes it cranks down really nice. Sometimes there's a nice little hole in the weapon, the trigger hole, like in the case of this. So the finger can kind of hold on to it while it's gripped down. So, you know, it's really, it's such a, it's so random which figures are going to be able to hold which weapons or which weapons are going to actually be able to go in which figure's hands. There is no consistency between that. And I, I'll be honest, and this will be the one time I say it in this video because why beat a dead horse? I think that's one of the problems with this line overall are those hinged fingers. Really wish they wouldn't have gone that way. But uh, yeah, we're done with that. So I do think he looks cool. And he looks like a cool, pretty nice figure. I would recommend him for sure, just because I think he does look so neat. And if you're primarily going to be posing him, putting him on a shelf, the fingers, again, don't really matter that much as long as you can get them cranked up and, and tightened up. I really do like the dive helmet. We're going to wrap up this video with him wearing his mask. Uh, there we go. Scuba Jonesy. I'm actually glad they got this figure out. I, I like the skin. I use the skin. Um, I'm not going to say a lot. But I use it more than some, and I use this particular style more than some. So pretty cool. Oh, where did I get this? I found this guy at Walmart for about 20 bucks. That's right, I forgot to mention that earlier. Walmart, 20 bucks, but he should be out. And if you're going to find him, you should be able to find him somewhere online, whether it's Walmart, eBay, Amazon. I think he's on Amazon. If he's on Amazon, there'll be a link in the pinned comment below. Uh, so you can pick this guy up if you've missed him or you haven't found him. But I like Scuba Jones. I think his colors are nice. I think, generally speaking, his artic articulations are actually pretty good. Get him into a, a bit of a an action diver pose, maybe. Me imposing on camera sucks. So, yeah, something like that. I'm not sure exactly what kind of a pose a diver would do anyway, except for, you know, hands in front and getting ready to dive. <laughs> but yeah, pretty nice figure. All right, so that's what I got for you today. Please like this video if you found it helpful or interesting or anything above. Appreciate you stopping by and watching. I will see you in the next video.